Now, I, I only had this a couple of weeks ago, so I haven't spent that long programming it, but I've taken it into a couple of classes, and as soon as the kids see this in action, the first thing they say is, wow, wow. And that's what I go for when I'm teaching. When I'm teaching, I try and get the kids to say, wow. I'd rather the kids say, wow, how's that done, than me ask them a question and then put their hands up and answer that question, because to me, they're just telling me something they already know there. I want them to ask me the questions. Yeah. <laughs> Now, when I showed this to the class, they went, that's smooth. <laughs> that is smooth to them. This next one, hopefully, will work as well. There we go. Super. And then I got it to do this. And one of the kids said to me, I didn't know a robot could have so much personality. <laughs> <laughs> now, mathematically, there's a lot going on there. You could talk maths about angles. You could talk in a science lesson about the joints and the movement. You could look, obviously, there's the electronics angle. There's the design technology angle. I'm a big believer in cross-curricular. I don't think that kids should just turn up in one lesson and just do one sort of thing. I teach in an engineering school um, where we're trying to involve more and more lessons with the cross-curricular content. And I, I haven't tried this yet, I'll be honest with you. But I was sat today when I thought, right, I'm going to get it to do an experiment. So I went to the science lab. And I really haven't tried this, so it might not work. And I asked them for some, some equipment. I've put an acid, a neutral, and an alkaline in those test tubes. I've got some universal indicator. Again, I made that little bit in the technology department. Um, hopefully it'll work, but as I've said before, I've not tried this yet. Let's see what happens. I've only tried it with water. Yes. <laughs> I've got my hazard cards and I've done my risk assessment. Right, this is the tricky bit. This might not work. Now, I can hear people going, Ooh, ah. that's, that's what I go for when I'm teaching. Um, and that's, to me, hopefully, oh, don't pour it all in. <laughs> like I say, it might behave a bit differently to water due to the viscosity of it. And looking at that, we haven't got much left for the last one. Brilliant. Super. Wow. Wow, exactly. Give the robot a clap. Come on. Now, I've obviously never tried that before. The next bit for the programme, obviously, would get that to probably pick the tube up and just shake it a little bit. There's your three colours. It's a starter for a lesson. It's got a bit of wow factor. You could talk about that in a lesson. Um, and that's that, really, the robot arm. Thanks for not letting me down. We allow the kids to have mobile phones now, as long as they're not using them in the lesson. They respect that decision. And the other day, I was in a colleague's room, and he said to me, you never guess what's just happened. He was a technology teacher. He said, I was, I was teaching a process. We were using the strippy to the line bender, and a kid was recording me on, on, on the phone. And I said to him, what are you doing? He says, I'm recording it, sir, so I can go back and use it later while I'm doing it. And I thought that was great. And we should encourage more of that. That pupil had recorded that bit of the demo, and he was playing it again in the lesson. I don't see a problem with that, really. This is a year nine project that we've been working on. It's a textiles project. And I went into this textiles room and I was amazed. It was fantastic, some of the stuff they were doing. I'm just wondering, some of the batteries are looking a bit low on these, actually. I thought it was a bit, you know, I had to walk back and think, have I just, am I seeing things in that classroom or what? We've re related this project to real life with them. And the, the kids have designed these characters and they've had them as big brother characters. It's quite good because we, we've got a Geordie textiles teacher. And they were filming this and they were saying, in the big brother house, I'm not very good at, not very good at accents, elephant man was in the diary room. And the, <laughs> the kids have done this as, as a project and it's great. There is electronics in there. It's only very simple electronics. All we've got in those it's basically a stuffed toy without the stuffing in with one of those things inside. Those things are only two quid from the Rapid catalogue and they just transformed that project and, and brought it a bit more to life, if you like. I don't feel easy being called a teacher. I don't think we need teachers, myself. Um, and I'll come back to why I'm saying that in a second. If I want to find something out, I can go on YouTube and I can type it in and find it. I typed that thing in that I'd never even heard of and there was a load of videos on there about how you can program it to tips, all sorts of things. If you want to 
I do a lot of magic. If I want to find out how to do a magic trick, I go on YouTube and I can find out for free. If I want to learn how to play the guitar, I can go on YouTube, YouTube and I can find out. If I want to learn how to plaster a wall, I can go on YouTube and I can find out. There are other websites out there, but kids come to us and I think it's our duty to inspire them, not just teach them. They don't need us to teach them. They've got other ways of finding things out. They do find things out for themselves other ways. They need us to point them in the right direction. But the first thing with me, if I've got my electronics class, year 10, 11 boys, they're all boys. I've got one girl in the class, actually. They're low ability. They're a potential riot, if you're not careful. The first thing I want to do is make sure that they want to come back in that lesson the following week. I will address things like discipline and respect later on. Because as long as I've inspired them and their attention is there, then they're going to be fine. I don't need to worry about the discipline side of things. And I can bring that in later when they respect me. They know I'm going to show them something interesting. And that, that's, I think, how it, how it should work. Giving them ownership and inspiring them.